But first, Mitt Romney campaigns today in Connecticut with some extra spring in his step, barring a major political bombshell, which we've seen plenty of those so far on mm -hmm. the campaign trail. He is going to be the Republican nominee. His main rival has decided finally to withdraw from the race. With more on the latest developments, Karen Travers is joining us from Washington. Good morning, Karen. Hi, Rob and Paula. Nobody could have predicted Rick Santorum's run through the primary season. He went from the back of the pack to a legitimate contender who made Mitt Romney spend his money and fight for every vote. Rick Santorum took many thank top advisors much. by surprise. While this presidential race for us is over, for me, we are not done fighting. Mitt Romney took the news quite well. This has been a, uh, a good day for me. He issued a gracious goodbye to his rival. He has made an important contribution to the political process. He will continue to have a major role in the Republican Party. Santorum proved to be a scrappy campaigner. He pulled out a narrow victory over Mitt Romney in Iowa and went on to win nine more states and defy the pundits. Miracle after miracle, this race was as improbable as any race that you will ever see for president. As Newt Gingrich faded, Santorum successfully positioned himself as the conservative alternative to Romney. He is the worst Republican in the country to put up against Barack Obama. Romney's vast resources proved to be too much for Santorum to compete with. He was dramatically outspent in key states like Michigan, Ohio, and Wisconsin, and he lost them all. As recently as last week, Santorum vowed to stay in the race until his home state votes on April 24th. Pennsylvania and half the other people in this country have yet to be heard. But the race in Pennsylvania had tightened with Romney quickly gaining ground. With his chief rival out of the race, Mitt Romney has effectively locked up the nomination. But yesterday, Newt Gingrich and Ron Paul, they vowed to stay on until the convention to give conservatives another choice. Robin Paula, back to you.